Hey everybody, this is Chris DeFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. So glad to have you with me today. Now today's episode is brought to you by the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer from Voga Coffee. Um, these days, because our experiences in the cafe are limited to to go for most of us, the focus is really heavy on what's in the cup, right? The quality of the beverage. Now we've, in specialty coffee, we've always been focused on the beverage and the quality, but how do we take things like our batch brew to the next level? Um, That is where the ground control Cyclops Brewer comes in. This is SCA award-winning technology that truly extracts the most from your coffee. It is amazing what it can pull out, it's surprising a variety of flavors from a coffee that maybe you thought you knew until you brewed it and played around on this machine and, and found that I didn't know that we could get that profile from this coffee. I've experienced that with this machine, and it's just really game-changing. Um, you can do more than just batch brew coffee. You can do cold brew, batch lattes, um, cocoa, tea. You can do anything from the batch sizes to single sizes. Uh, So it's a versatile workhorse of a machine, but also raises the game of your coffee program. So if you want to take your coffee program to the next level and truly offer your customers the best experience in the cup, then the Ground Control Cyclops Brewer is the brewer to have in your cafe. Uh, Find out more information about this amazing machine over at vogacoffee.com. That's V-O-G-A coffee.com. Today's episode is also brought to you by Baratza. Baratza designs precision burr grinders that are perfect for home or commercial use, and they have a small footprint designed by a team of people who are all about caring for their customers, making sure their customers feel cared for and their service is second to none, actually legendary. Uh, I literally hear stories about people raving about the kind of support they got uh, over the phone or over email from Baratza. And that's what they're about. They're about supporting you. They're about supporting specialty coffee, making grinders that make brewing great coffee possible. Um, Now, customers are brewing coffee at home more than ever. And your coffee in their home, they can have a very great experience when they have a grinder like Baratza on their counter. And selling your customers Baratza grinders is just a really fantastic idea. I've talked about this for a long time on the show that we want to equip customers to be successful with our coffee. And that happens to be the exact same thing that Baratza wants. So a perfect partner. So to find out more information and get these on your shelves and on your customers' counters, go to their website, reach out to them, Baratza.com. Okay, everyone. So I am really, you know, I have thought today about why we do what we do. What are we in this for? And it came to my mind because, you know, as we serve the public, it can be challenging. It really can be. We are all humans, and our disposition towards our fellow humans will determine our level of service to them in a professional setting. We have ideals when we come into the specialty coffee industry, when we start our coffee bar, or when we become a barista. And we have ideals that, you know, we are all about serving a customer and we are going to be um, showing hospitality. And I just want to serve coffee. Now, the best people in the industry, in my opinion, are people that have an outward mindset. Their focus is on others. So it's not so much, I want to get into coffee because I like the look of myself behind a coffee bar, or I just really personally love coffee. I want to make it. And, oh, you know, there's people involved too, those pesky customers. And um, those are the baristas that start to get really cynical. They get, They start to get jaded. And we all get a little jaded, let's be honest. But these are the types of baristas that really get annoyed when customers order things. You know, how dare you order? I used to be that type of barista. Um, And so I'm talking from personal experience here. Uh, That kind of stuff really does uh, put a damper on service. Like I would have my bar completely clean and the customer would come in and they'd want a coffee and I get so annoyed. Like, why am I there? Why am I there for them? Or am I there to like, you know, enjoy myself enjoying things, right? Right. Um, when we have an outward mindset, we're really thinking about 
the other person. We're thinking about our coworkers. We're thinking about the customer. And if we're honest, this is the type of person you want to work for your business because you know the bottom line depends on customers having a great experience in your coffee bar. And great experiences are born from a, a, a team focus or a, a group of individuals who are all focused as a team on creating a great experience. And if you've got a team of people whose individual focus is on themselves, you're not going to have a great experience as a customer, or at least you're not going to have as great an experience as you could have had. Now, we're all about trying to create resiliency in our businesses and have a more sustainable supply chain. And in retail, one of the ways that you do that is you go above and beyond what the customer's expectations are, and you secure the relationship with them through great service. Now, what I got to thinking about was the fact that if you want to change your disposition towards the customer, if, okay, you are jaded, let's say you are, um, uh, no, you know that maybe you need to elevate your, your hospitality, then one of the ways to do that is to not just resolve to walk into work and do something better next time. Oh, geez, you know, I'll do better next time. You know, today I was really rude. I'm, you know, cursed under my breath and I, you know, whatever else you did. Um, you can be resolving all you want, but the next day you're going to do the same thing. And here's why. Because you are still you every day at work unless you change outside of work, okay? So I'm not trying to get into like motivational speaking here or anything like that, but if you find that you have trouble serving customers and you want to stay in coffee and you feel like, I want to get better at that, then why not try to start serving people in your everyday life? Your habits are not formed at work necessarily, depending on how much you work, I guess, but they're just brought into work by what you've experienced in life. So the people that you want to have on your staff, for instance, are the people who, through their life, have developed a mindset that is others-focused, is team-focused. That's not something they developed in your store. You want to import that into your store. So the answer to how you kind of reform yourself is to do the same thing. Think about when you're in the grocery store or the gas station or at the department store or at home. What little things can you do to remind yourself to have this outward mindset, which is another great book by the Arbinger Institute, by the way. Um, hopefully we can get somebody from there on the show one day. That'd be cool. Um, but that outward mindset is critical to have in life because then when you're at the shop, it's just an extension of who you are. So you're not coming into work trying to pretend to be something else. That is the epitome of emotional labor. That is laborious because it's not natural. Okay. Now, if this is ex- so extraordinarily hard for you and you really truly hate customers and it's just a pain to be in the coffee shop, then it's time to leave coffee. It's time to leave the coffee bar at least. Become a, <laughs> I'm not saying this about roasters that they don't like people, but maybe you should get into roasting. Do something in the back of the house. But we need more outward focused people in the shop. And in order to get ourselves there, we need to cultivate that in ourselves, in little ways throughout our life so that our coffee work life reflects the natural state of our being. Uh, I hope that makes sense. That's the type of thing you want to look for in employees too. So when you have an application come in, if you have a resume, you want to see that this person has a history of being others focused has an outward mindset so that you know it's more likely for a person like that to hop onto the bar and look to see different ways they can serve their coworkers, they can serve the customer, and create this great and caring culture, right? Our focus in the cafe is outward, okay? So we need to make sure that we are reinforcing that every day in little ways, if that's truly our goal, right? We're training in the off-season. We're, we're making this a holistic approach that will create a sense of fulfillment even in the midst of hard services. You'll know that this is what you want to do. You don't have to try to be a different person at work uh, because this is actually who you are. And that builds great momentum for a part of the value chain that puts a lot of hard work into representing a lot of hard work. Uh, the rest, from the farmers to the roasters, etc. 
we can't afford not to do this. Our customers need us to have that outward mindset, and uh, I think this is a good way of going about it. So I hope that this episode was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'll see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break, from keys to the shop.